Hey there folks and welcome back to the I am CDB project. I of course am your host CDB. You are not and today we're going to kick it off with announcing the winner of last week's giveaway. Don't worry we'll have another giveaway announced towards the end of this video. The winner of the Pacific Shaving uh, shaving cream and the little pods and the Shave uh, Revolution open comb razor is Spyro uh, 1967. So Spyro 1967 shoot me your information and I'll get this out in the mail uh, at some point this week. All right, for the shave today, we're going to be using some nice stuff. This is uh, LA Shaving Soap Topanga Fougere. For those of you who are fans of Fougere, this is one of the best Fougere scents. Uh, similar to Martin de Condre, not exactly uh, one of the best. Some um, interpretations of Fougere are muddy or earthy. I like the ones that are that are crisp green fern, which this one is, in my opinion. I'm also going to be using the uh, aftershave that's sold at uh, groomatorium.com, uh, made by Ron from Chiseled Face. He has brought these back, the LA Shaving Soaps, the Tiki, and we're going to roll with this uh, today. We're also going to be using the Razor Rock SLOC Slock, or uh, self -relu self-lubricating open comb razor. Now, I want to mention, uh, I've shaved with this several times, and this razor is not an exact copy of the uh, PAA dock, despite what people might tell you or lead you to believe. This one is more efficient. I was thinking it um, as I was using it several times, and I was talking to a friend of mine, the inspector, and I said, you know, I'm pretty sure the uh, Razor Rock SLOC, which is 1999 with the stainless steel barber pole handle, great price. Said I was thinking it's fairly um, or significantly more efficient than the dock, and he um, he took a picture of both. And if you look at the picture, you'll see you'll notice that there is a, a good deal more blade exposure on the Razor Rock SLOC than the dock. So let me roll that photo in for you. This is courtesy of uh, the inspector, David Fernicola. Take a look. All right, so there you have, you can clearly see the Razor Rock SLOC, or SLOC if you want to call it, has more blade exposure. That is the amount of blade that sticks out over the bed as compared to the dock. And uh, the inspector basically confirmed my feelings was that, you know, I, I told him, I said, you know, I don't have the dock anymore. It was a little too mild. Nice razor, don't get me wrong. Um, and I'm really glad that PAA brought that back. But it was just too mild. And the handle that, the first handle that came with it, that little thing was terrible. It was awful. Too light, chintzy, felt like a piece of plastic almost. But the razor itself, I thought was, was nice, albeit uh, mild. So anyhow, in talking with the uh, inspector about it, he got one because I, I said, no, it's not the same. I said, it is more aggressive, more efficient, and it feels to me a lot better than I recall the dock. Um, feeling and so uh, he got one for himself and he looked at it and used it. It's like, yeah, you're right. This one is really a great buy and it's cheaper, uh, less expensive than the uh, SLOC. Has a better handle in my view. 1999 with that barber pole handle. If you make other handle choices, I think it might even be cheaper. Don't hold me to that. But anyway, um, really great value. Now don't expect. Um, out of this world fit and finish on these cheap, you know, Chinese or wherever they make them, India, uh, on the underside, the caps and so forth. The fit and finish is not phenomenal, but for $19.99 with a, a nice weighty handle on it, uh, it is a very good value and it is not the same. So do not be hoodwinked, bamboozled, hood, hoodwinked nor bamboozled into thinking, oh, it's just, it's just a copy because it is not. All right, so there's my thought on that. And you can tell by the shave, it's, it just doesn't, it, uh, it doesn't present the sh same shave at all. Let's take my watch off so I don't get it all wet and soapy and lay it there. And let us begin with the Razor Rock SLOC. And of course I'm using the uh, LA Shaving Soap um, 
Fougere, which is fantastic in my view. And again, Ron at Chisel Face has uh, brought these back at Grimatorium.com, so go and check it out. Yeah, I like this razor. What a great value. Um, it's still not threatening, um, like the PAA double open combs, but this one just has more juice and it's exactly what I needed. Um, so I commend Joe at Razor Rock for bringing us yet more options. Again, I'm a consumer folks like you all, so, you know, I'm here to get the most bang I can for my buck. I'm not spending money just to be spending it. I really want to get good value and that's what really Razor Rock, the Razor Rock brand represents is tremendous value and wait till the game changer comes out and some for somewhere there about 50 bucks you're going to be shaving like you own a, uh, a Wolfman WR1 because that's exactly what it felt like. I compared it. So in my opinion, it, it shaves very similarly and favorably to the Wolfman. It's going to be, oh, about $350 cheaper. So who can argue with that? I certainly won't. Because I'm not one of those people that just buy things because I have something that's hard to get. That means nothing to me. Nothing whatsoever. It's because something's hard to get. Now, I might have a few, few pieces like that, but that's not why I keep them. I keep them because they are... Uh, they are um, good shavers, or I like the way they shave. And I had um, some questions yesterday after I mentioned the, the one blade and not having it anymore, and I will address that in a separate video. Um, but just to give you the gist of it, when I started shaving my head, I started using carts. And what do carts do? They pivot, a lot of them, not all. And what I started noticing was there were really a lot of similarities between the cart and the one blade. And what I found was not only did I not like the those proprietary blades that they sell, sometimes it was hard to get through one shave with those blades. And I couldn't get through one shave on my head with those blades. Not good, not good. I could get one face shave, but I couldn't even get through one head shave with those proprietary feather blades that the one blade uses. So that was one thing that sent it out of here. And the other thing was as I used carts, I realized that they were very similar. Uh, the one blade, essentially for me, and this is just me, uh, those of you who are one blade lovers, don't, don't be angry because your, your opinion are, are probably much different from mine, your opinions on it. It's like a glorified car. It pivots, it shaves well, it's beautiful, it's made, it's, it's phenomenal. In, uh, in its build quality and all the rest, but it didn't really do anything that carts didn't do. So that's the quick version, and I'll, I'll explain more later. Uh, it is a wonderfully made razor, and if you love it, continue to love it. But I found I could get basically the same thing out of pivoting, out of a pivoting cart. The pivot and glide was really its features, in, in addition to the way it looked and, and uh, modern and and all the rest, but looks don't shave, people. Looks of razors are nice to admire, but the looks won't shave you. And so therefore, once I started actually comparing the one blade to cards, I was like, well, I'm getting about the same shave, so what do I need a freaking $400 one blade for? Answer, don't. And that is why it is gone. Still great razor. Uh, I think it's an even better razor if you can find an older version that allows you to use the gem blades when you take the spine off. So if you can find version one where you can use the gem blades, I got a lot more mileage out of the gem blades, but one blade I understand has altered the razor where you can't do that anymore in newer versions. So if you can find a version one, um, I got more mileage out of the gem blades. I could get a complete head shave out of the gem blades and a face shave, but not the feather proprietary blades. So. Anyway, we'll come back and talk about that in a separate video. But needless to say, it is no longer among my favorite razors. In fact, it's, it's not here anymore. Um, as I learn, folks, and as I compare things, things rise and things fall. And you'll see on my next top razors list. And by the way, this guy for 20 bucks is uh, quite good. And it's providing for a very nice 
smooth shape. It feels non-threatening, but you, I am getting more efficiency than the old uh, PAA dock. And again, I certainly thank Mr. Smythe and, and PAA for being the first to bring back the, the dock. But as I said in the last time I used this video, keep in mind, folks, it was an inspired by or copy then. Not exactly. And uh, this one is just another version. Uh, so no one really made an original razor here other than the first people who uh, who made it. And so anyway, we'll press on with our third pass. This uh, LA shaving soap, Topanga Fougere, very good soap. Um, great scent. The scent is really why I have it. The scent for me is actually um, more appealing than the, the quality. The quality is just fine. It's a good soap. Don't get me wrong. But um, I have this because of the scent. Like, no mistake about it. It's, it's just... I love it. It is my second favorite Fougere scent behind Martin. Um, the Condre. By the way, the brush is the Razor Rock Big Bruce, which is very affordable. And you see it um, uh, used here all the time. Folks, I just don't talk on this channel about using things. I use them. So when I talk about great value and how much I like something, you might be thinking, oh, you know, he, it'll be gone next week. This thing's been here a long time. And it's a, I think at the time it was a $12 brush. It might, between 12 and 14 or 15 bucks. And folks, it's as good as my $100 custom brushes. And so I use this stuff. I don't just buy it. I just don't talk about great value. It's what I use from day to day. When you're, when I'm not on video and when I am on video, keep in mind, I shave seven days a week, folks. So I'm using this value stuff. It is a regular part of my shaving arsenal. And, and this is coming from somebody who's used hundreds, plural, soaps, hundreds of razors, hundreds, maybe not hundreds of razors maybe close to 100, I don't know the exact number, but uh, most everything that's out there. And so when you see me using this stuff, it's not just to show it to you, although I, I, I certainly like to show it to you and make you aware of it. Um, this is stuff that I use and stuff that I like. And this is a pretty doggone good shaver. Again, as long as you don't expect, um, you know, like on the undersides and all that for it to be pristine, because it's not if you take the take it apart. Um, it is a wonderful shaver, and that's the most important thing to me. And it's twenty bucks. And again, you get this barber pole handle. The knurling on that is obviously not as clean as you know on the handles you're going to pay fifty or more dollars for. But it's nice. It's still grippy. I had no problems with grip whatsoever, and. Uh, I just really enjoyed using this razor so far. I think this is, uh, I think I've used this guy, maybe this is my fourth or fifth go with it. And it's just a nice little shaver. And so if you're on a budget or you're just looking for a, an open comb razor, that's not menacing. Uh, this one has some efficiency, but it's not menacing. It feels quite good, smooth. Smooth would be a good way of uh, describing it then check it out and you can get it cheaper than the uh, Phoenix Dock, which is also a good razor of this sort. Uh, that one is, again, is more mild, but I did like that one when I used it. But um, for me, uh, this one brings additional um, efficiency. It's less expensive and it has a better handle and it feels Good. And as you can see here, just going over this, using the residual slickness of the uh, LA Shaving Soap Topanga Fougere. And we will uh, come back in a moment after I rinse everything off and uh, we'll give you the giveaway of this week before we put our aftershave and uh, post on. Stay tuned. All right, and here we are with the magic made by Witches Thayer's new bottle, of course, as I told you yesterday. I won't want, I will not run short on Thayer's. It is uh, used here every single day. Magic 
because it's made by witches. And as promised, let's get to the giveaway. This is the fine aluminum slant, and I put this up for giveaway a long time ago, and uh, it wasn't claimed, folks. Uh, I'm going to be very honest with you. I do these giveaways for the regular viewers and the people who are watching. So when I announce the winner of the giveaway, if it goes two or three days into next week, I'll just set it aside and, and draw again. So if you don't watch, you don't win. So I, I try to make sure that um, I announce it and let it go. This way people, if they see it, they can claim it. If they don't, I'll draw it again. This is a fairly expensive razor. Um, I, I want to say it's around $75, $80, maybe more. I don't know off the top of my head. But uh, the fine aluminum slant, which I tested a long time ago and put up for giveaway once, was never claimed. It will be up for a giveaway again this week. So to enter, send an email and just say fine slant or slant to cdb at imcdb.com. And I will draw next Sunday. The deadline will be Friday night at midnight. I can't be still taking entries all day Saturday and Saturday night into Sunday. So the deadline will be actually Saturday morning at midnight. All right, so that is Friday into Saturday at midnight. All right, let's roll on with our post. Um, of course, we use the LA Shaving Soap Fougere, Topanga Fougere, and this is the aftershave made by Chiseled Face or Ron from Chiseled Face at Groomatorium. Com. And we're going to slap this stuff on, even though I'm going to take a shower in a little bit because it's got a head shave. See what it smells like. It smells nice. Feels good. Um, I had really good luck with the Tiki aftershave that Ron makes. Uh, again, as I mentioned in my video, he fills them up way up. So good, um, good value. This one's a little more expensive. I think it's around $20. $21, but the Tiki's are like $14.99, $15, a really good price. And this is a good match. Uh, if you like green, there's a little spice in there. Um, the soap to me smells a little more crisp. That one has a little more uh, spice, but still smells great. So I'm happy with that. And again, today we use the Razorock SLOC, Self Lubricating Open Comb. $19.99 with the stainless steel barber pole handle. More aggressive or efficient than the uh, than the Phoenix Dock, which is also, again, a good razor. But if you're looking for more juice, give this guy a try at $19.99. Really tre tremendous value. And last but not least, of course, we use the old uh, Big Bruce, which you see here all the time because I love it. I just don't talk, folks. This is stuff I use. I want to thank everybody for joining me uh, once again. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB. You are not. God bless.